There we go. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Miss Lydia. Hello, Herb Scrolling Station. That's Zoila. Looks like she was, oh, and very early, maybe. Can you guys hear me okay? Hey, Jonathan, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Going to kind of give everybody a few minutes to get in here before we get started on the recipe. So how are we doing today? Katie, welcome in. Hello. 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 Hello, Jeremy. How are you? Welcome in. So excited. I've already made a batch of marshmallows this morning. So <gasps> yay. Hello, Tank. How are you? Why am I so nervous? Gosh, I get. I guess the nerves will go after, after a while. But Miss Lydia, thank you. I know you've got to work today, so thank you for for coming in. What? 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 Hold on, I gotta go get uh, my girl her wrench. Very, very lovely to see you. Let me do 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 do. Get her in here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wrench back. Wrench back. You should have it back. Let me know, Tink. And actually, I believe I got actually I have my phone over there, but we will actually have um, the crochet queen China. She's coming up with us today too, so she's coming up on panel. She might have already texted me, but this is gonna be fun. Give me two seconds, be right back. Granny D, welcome in. Hello, darling. Howdy do. Ah. I feel so special. All you guys are in here with me. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so fun. going to be so sticky, but fun. Have any of you guys ever made marshmallow or thought about making marshmallows from scratch? Welcome in, Harnell Media, Steve. Welcome in, welcome in. Which is the sponsor of very well-known websites. Uh, he's the sponsor of um, Dawn Yarndahl's website. Margie's Crafty Corners website. I believe he's working with Scraptastic Amanda getting her website. Frosty Broccoli, FBI. Welcome in, guys. Love you all. I love you all. This is awesome. So glad you guys are here. So fun, so fun. It is so quiet in my house. I'm kind of loving it. All right, let's see, We're, we've got almost five minutes in. I did share the recipe on my community tab for anybody that wants to make it with me. Um, it is actually really, really easy. Um, I'm gonna have so many marshmallows. So I'm, I actually already got my graham crackers down here next to me to do s'mores. I can't wait, I can't wait. I got chocolate, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
So, mm, and right. And you can actually, you can even do them vegan. There's a way to do it without the gelatin that I'm using today. I'm actually just using unflavored gelatin, which I believe is some form of pork fat or lard or I, not really sure, but it's pork. And a lot of people can't do pork. So um, you can actually do it a vegan way, but I've never done it the vegan way, but this way they're so good. And oh my goodness, you put it on top of hot chocolate and you can actually torch them. I have a little miniature torch that I'll toast the marshmallows on top of my hot chocolate. Mm. So yum. Barb Jarvie, your packages are in the mail. Or will your package of your two winnings is in the mail. So those went out yesterday. My post office here locally is, I don't even know what, how, or why they even managed to do it, but their lease expired and they had, they have nowhere to go. So my local post office is actually closed for like the next couple of years until they get their new location discovered and built and ready to go. So it, it was a huge mess. And then when I went in, I kind of, it was so funny. She's like, I've never had anybody bring in this many pack. I was like, I, I don't even have that many packages. I, I shipped out six things like, come on now. I know people return so much more Amazon stuff than that. All right, let's see. Let's, oh, Ganny Joe, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. If, if, you, if the package actually comes in today, that would be phenomenal. That would be so cool. But yes, you do have a package coming. I can't wait for you guys to get your stuff and just play with the yarn. Love all the yarn. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think we're gonna go ahead and get started on the recipe, um, get our marshmallows started. So I am going to hop over onto my phone and over to the kitchen. Be right back. All right, guys. Oop. All right, can you guys hear me? I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Kind of hiding behind the screen right now. Yes, Zach, that is very much okay. I'm very excited to join you on, mo on Monday in two days. Awesome sauce. So welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna kind of do a little bit of moving just so we're a little bit closer to the mixer right now. So bear with me. Everybody put your helmets on. Get your elbow pads on, knee pads. We're going to go for a ride. Let's go. Do, 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 do. 
do do do. All right. So, like I said, super easy. Very minimal ingredients needed to make the marshmallows. Currently in the mixer, they're half a cup of water. And that we are going to use, we're going to put in our um, three envelopes of gelatin into here. And we're going to let that bloom or kind of let it get happy and moist. So we're, we're just going to get this all nice and wet and we'll see it all get all fluffy. Here in our pot, I have the, I believe, one and a half cups of sugar. Um, and then to this, we're going to add one cup of corn syrup and a half a cup of water. This is going to go for about 10 minutes. We're going to bring it to about 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we'll do that together. So let me go ahead and get you set down. We'll start on getting the gelatin bloomed. KB Crochet, welcome in. And I am very sorry if I do miss anybody in chat um, while I'm not in front of the phone just because I've got it reversed. So if there is anybody I miss, please forgive me. I will go back and chit chat with all of you guys. <coughs> uh, let's see. I know China will be here, she says, in about 10. So, let's get started. Guys, my house is never this quiet. It is so crazy. I can hear myself think, oh, there's Gertie. Sorry, guys, all of a sudden I can't find anything. And I just had it all right here. Or so I thought, anyway. All right, so our half a cup of water, three packets of unflavored gelatin. Those are in. <clears throat> and I'm just going to give that a nice little tiny whisk just to make sure everything, all of it is getting nice and moistened. So, kind of what it looks like right now, still real liquidy. Whenever we come back to this, it's actually going to be real nice and thick and voluptuous. Sorry, in the bottom of my mixer is dirty. I didn't clean it off from earlier. So, we're going to do that for that. Here is our sugar. Half a cup of water. Of light corn syrup. And we're just going to kind of give that a nice little stir. Make sure all of our sugar is wet. Nothing is up on the sides. Turn it on to a medium high. Let this kind of come to a nice little simmer. We're going to swirl it occasionally. Welcome in, Zoila. Sorry, Zoila. Welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Think voluptuous. That's a fun word to say, isn't it? Voluptuous. So with these marshmallows, I'm just kind of making a very base marshmallow recipe. Um, 
there's also another version that to where you do all of this the same way, except you add in egg whites. And what that allows you to do would be to put it in like silicone molds if you wanted to do like shaped marshmallows. Um, I've never, I haven't done it yet. I've just made these. I usually do them every year. Um, it kind of goes into my Valentine season. I add those to the chocolate covered strawberries as little treats um, for like little special surprises for anybody that does order my chocolate covered strawberries. I add in dipped homemade marshmallows and, that are dipped in chocolate. So they are so, it's so good. So good, so good. May, welcome in. Bonnie, how are you, my love? Hello, hello. How are all of you lovelies, as Mama G would say? And I'm, I'm hoping that we can get this all done because I know right now, I know uh, Jaxie, uh, Creations by Jax, I believe is currently live. So you might want to pop in and kind of say hi to her. And Thank you for popping in, Bunny. Yes, I know you, you were at work today. So thank you so much for, for popping in. Oop. I think we got somebody downstairs. You you ready? My China? My China? Good hello. afternoon. How hello, hello. Look at that beautiful face. Girl, I just got up. <laughs> like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I wouldn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <all right. laughs> what are my boys doing? They hanging with dad today? No, um, one of them is down. <laughs> one of them is in his room and the other one is sleeping. He didn't go to sleep until I went to sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Good. Let me say good afternoon to everyone. So yeah, right now we're just kind of, it's going to be about 10 minutes for this to come up to temperature. Um, someone wants to say, are you going to say hi? You're going to say hi? The camera's right here. It's backwards today. It is. It's backwards. Hi. Yeah. Oh Hello. my God, Joey. <laughs> All right, let's see. Come here, Joey Bird. Say hi. Oh, there he goes. Hi. Oh, she goes. <laughs> Once we get this done, and hi. if I if we've got time to go back over on the computer, Joey will want to pop on and say hi to everybody. Miss Frosty ABD, welcome in. Yeah. Hello, hello. I can't even see the chat. I gotta go get my laptop. Making marshmallows. Yeah. Have fun at work, Zach. Yeah. Definitely, I will see you on Monday, sir, if you're still in here. Katie, I mean, it is not, I cannot keep a crochet hook away from this bird. All of my small crochet hooks, Joey thinks that they belong to her. All of them. So anytime, and I'm doing amigurumi right now, so I'm using all the small hooks. I actually have to go search for them around the house because she will take them no matter what I do. <laughs> I'm like, you brat. So let's do a quick. And if you've got a candy thermometer, you can use it. I've got, I've got both. And whenever I put my candy thermometer on, I can't really see the temperature that good because of where and how shallow my pan is and where the actual gauge is. So right now we're only looking at like 175. I'm actually going to turn this down just a little bit, 180. Two oh eight. 
I'm going to turn that down just a little bit more. What I'm going to do here, I added the lid. So the reason why I went ahead and I added the lid is I want the condensation from the lid to actually run down the sides of the pan. There's a little bit of sugar uh, developed on the sides of the pan and you, you want to try to not have any hardened sugar crystals because uh, it would just kind of make for a stiffer marshmallow. So that's why we're doing this here. And right now I think uh, the heat's about uh, halfway between low and medium. So like a medium low-ish. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Birdie. She's hanging off of my shoulder right now trying to see everybody. Hey, BJ. Welcome in. <coughs> welcome in. Welcome in. I know. It's so good to see Katie again. All right. Went ahead, took off the lid. Got, hey, hush for a minute. Got nice water condensation now on the side, so did what I needed it to do. The lid condensated. The water kind of went down the sides. Got all that extra sticky off of there that I wanted. So this is going to be almost uh, like a light amber color little yellowy um, not quite brown we don't want like a um, brown butter kind of thing so we're looking 220 we're almost there and i really hope the mixer isn't too loud when we get it turned on so if it is you guys please let me know and uh, i'll mute it while we're doing the mixer hi birdie hi birdie Yes, I'll let you say hi in a minute. I'll let you say hi in a minute. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Hello. She didn't want to come say hi at all last night. Now she's all wanting to be all up in my business. Huh. That's my girl. Had it a little bit too low. So turned up the heat a little bit just to get to where we need to go. Hello. Look at this thing. <laughs> All up in my business. Temperature check. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Still two twenty. It's like, come on now. <laughs> Waiting for water to boil. Hi, Zoila. <coughs> Thank you very much, Zoila. Yes. Oh, quiet. It is a recipe from a. Uh, hey, hey, hey. So sorry, guys. That is so loud. I know that is. Uh, the New York Times Magazine. 222. All right. Mm -hmm. Like, come on now. Do, 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 do. We are almost there. You crocheting right now, China? Yep, was about to, uh, I was, and then I put it down to get my tap for to get my laptop. I'm telling Jedediah to get it. He told me he don't know where is it at, and it's in his face downstairs in the damn living room. 
Right. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. Mine. I don't know where it's at. Like, yeah, you do. You're the last one on it. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Let me see what she's saying. Do, 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 do. All right. Okay. KB crochet. I'm not really doing anything. I was crocheting my shawl. Then I put that down. And then I put I picked something else up. And I'm about to put that down. I don't know what to do. I told um Jessica. Yes, ma'am. I told like, oh my I told my husband you was going on today to make marshmallows. He like, oh yeah, we're going we're going to be on her live today. <laughs> he said he's gonna be on your live because you make marshmallows. <laughs> they are so good. Oh my gosh, they are so good. <clears throat> All right. Should be almost there. I said that like five minutes ago, but Hello, Birdie. Gonna get this out of the way. Two twenty seven. Two twenty nine. That's sugar, right? Only. This is, <laughs> hey, 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 one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of light corn syrup, and a half a cup of water. Okay. And it takes about 10 ish minutes to get it, <laughs> hey, hey, to 240. My birdie. Two thirty two. So, this is kind of what you would do to make almost any kind of candy. Mm -hmm. Um, and depending on <laughs> what temperature you take it to, depends on um, how hard it is or soft it is if it's like a chewy taffy mm -hmm. you keep it on the lower scale and that's kind of what we're doing that's why we're only going to 240 uh, which is a look it's called a uh, softball stage on a candy thermometer if you take it up to 300 that's where you get more like a peanut brittle type of candy so it's kind of harder to chew more melt in your mouth kind of kind of candy 237, 238, gonna head and call on it. Turn it off, I'm gonna take it off the heat. Let the bubbles simmer down before we add it to our mixer of unflavored gelatin. All right, put your helmets back on. Elbow pads, knee pads, going for a ride. We're going to go back over here a little bit closer to the mixer so we can see what our gelatin's looking like. Choo. <laughs> there we are. All right, helmets off. Kind of hard to see in the mixer. So I'm gonna kind of pull this out a little bit so we can see. So in the mixers, just the three packets of unflavored gelatin and a half a cup of water, and it's gotten thick. 
I'm going to turn it on low. And can you kind of see that, how coagulated it looks in a way? I'm going to turn it off. So after your gelatin blooms, what was a powder is now jello -y ish It's squishy. It's, it's, it's funky. It, it, it's so weird. I, this stuff's amazing of what it can do and thicken and all the things you can do with it. So, so that's where we're at right now with the gelatin. And there we go. Two seconds. So now we're going to turn it on low. Is this terribly loud, the mixer? No. Okay. So our bubbles have chilled out. So here's our syrup. So this is the corn syrup, the water, and the sugar heated up to 240. And now we are going to slowly add it down the side of the mixer bowl. We don't want to burn or scorch the gelatin, so we kind of want to add it slowly. But you also don't want your syrup to cool down too much, otherwise it will actually make for a stiff marshmallow. So. And if you guys get this stuff on anything, you drop it on the counter, it is so sticky. Hmm. So sticky. Plan to grab some hot water <laughs> to get it off the counter because it's not going to wipe off too easy unless you get it real super quick. All right. So. Sorry, pots in the way, but I'm gonna make sure I get it all in there. Now that it's mixed up kind of good, the gel gelatin's all dissolved in the sugar. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. If it gets too loud, let me know. So you can kind of see the steam coming off the, the pan or out of the mixer. That's hot. So if you drop it on your skin or anything at this point, yeah. It, it's a hot, sticky mess. Kind of like I am all the time. Hot sticky milk. Hi, Birdie. Hold on. I'll let you play with all the people and say hi. Have a good day at work, Miss Lydia. Thank you for coming in. So, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. While you got your marshmallows <laughs> fluffing up, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this is a 13 by 9 casserole dish. I already have it sprayed with vegetable oil spray. Once this gets a little bit fluffier, uh, we're going to add our vanilla and I'm going to sprinkle in just a little bit of salt. Um, as 
as someone that bakes quite often, even if the recipe, this recipe does call for a little bit of salt, I actually like to add just a little bit more salt than the recipe calls because it actually balances that balances out the intense sweetness of baked goods or desserts. Mm. So I add salt to everything. <laughs> Dawn air in a hot mess. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Katie, you have hand spun yarn. What was? I got, I, I'm curious. <laughs> Sorry, kind of scrolling through chat, seeing, seeing what's all been said while I was doing all the fun stuff. Putting this bad boy on high. So what we're actually looking for is for it to be a, like an opaque. Our color is actually getting there and the color that we're looking for. Nice and white and fluffy. And we want it to be about three times the size that we originally started with. Where you can actually see it kind of getting thick once it gets a little bit closer. It's almost there. And then we can turn this bad boy off. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I'm going to add in one tablespoon of vanilla. I'm going to do it slow. I just kind of don't want it to splash all out. I'm going to let that mix in. Dash of salt. Turn that back up. Uh, yes <laughs> i'll put my finger right through it like that right <laughs> eat it. right it's like mm. right now it's marshmallow fluff at this stage mm. so right now i'm just going to give it a little i'm going to scrape the sides just a little bit oh i'm going to get sticky so i'm going to go just a little bit thicker a little bit runnier than i want Okay. So we're just going to go just a few more minutes. So sticky. So sticky. So sticky. Back down.
can you kind of see the difference of how it's running off it's a lot thicker it doesn't seem like it's uh runny like water so it's nice thick fluffy that is exactly what we want so we have let's go here take this off Scrape all the goodness off of there. Hi, Birdie. Joey wants a bite. And into your uh, sprayed or oiled dish. Get all that yumminess scraped out of there. And you kind of want to do all of this pretty quickly because once it starts cooling down, it impossible to work with. So we're just going to smooth it out. If you want to put some cute little swirls on top, you can. Try to make it as even as possible. So right now is the hardest part, waiting. So you can, you could leave it on the counter just like it is, completely uncovered. Let it sit at room temperature four to six hours to let it set. Um, you can pop it in the refrigerator for about two hours. Um, but. We've already got some done. So here's your finished marshmallows. So we just kind of let them sit and chill, but we don't have to wait because the magic of TV, <laughs> the magic of YouTube, we have some done. facing the wall all right let me get all right helmets yes so here is the finished ones completely uh these i put into the refrigerator <laughs> kb <laughs> I, i'm thinking grab a spoon <laughs> She's just going to dive on in. Yes. And actually at this point, you can even, if you didn't want to do a big pan like that, you can do a smaller pan. And while it's still warm, you could put it on graham crackers or dip it in like vanilla wafers. Yeah. Mm. Put whatever you want into the vanilla, the marshmallow yumminess. Yeah. Super easy to make. Um, like I said, these ones are completely done. We are actually going to go ahead and pull them out and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So what we're going to do is make a mess on the counter because it's fun. 
um, a sticky mess because we're playing with powdered sugar on top of it. <laughs> vanilla wafer, oh man. Mm, vanilla wafers and like banana pudding. Oh, banana pudding is mm, so yum, oh. so delicious. It's my thing. Yuck. What? I don't like banana pudding. That's like the oh, nastiest thing I've tasted. You do a look. Yes, I'm oh. from online. Love, love, love. Camper 14, Tina, welcome in. Thank you. Hey, Tina. I haven't seen Tina in a long time. Don Aaron, welcome. Back up. Back up. Don't look back up. <laughs> say, good, say good morning. Hold up. Where's say good my morning, morning, Jessica? Good morning, Jessica. Yeah. Good morning, my Prince August. <laughs> Kisses and love, son. Go, go wash your face. I know I did How you brush your teeth but don't wash your face? Go, go wash your face. I don't want to wash my face. Yes, you do. I'm uh, sorry. I I can't can't. Your, your kids are out of control, Jessica. Hey, Birdie, stop. So, we got our sifter, got powdered sugar. And at this point, there's no measured amount. You just want to cover everything sticky in powdered sugar because you can't touch i mean it is it's let's see Ooh, and i actually just got something on top of that one Ooh. so here's the difference of what the top of the marshmallow looks like the texture Ooh. So these ones are the finished ones. Let me grab. Drop me, guys. Drop me. <laughs> I did. Threw you guys on the floor. I'm sorry. <laughs> so there we go. So back, these ones are completely finished, stiff. Mm. Just lick it off your hand. Just suck it off your hand. Come on now, you know it. I know it's a little so sorry. Didn't mean to drop you, honey. All right. Time to get the stand back and the camera back and get you guys back where you need to be. Phone's all sticky. All right. Oh, he I'm going to turn you guys this way. It might be a little bit easier to see. So. All right. Got to rinse my hand off real fast. And when you make it at home, yes, you can lick it off your fingers. You can touch it. You can do whatever you want because you're at home. <laughs> but if you're serving it to other people besides family, you really wouldn't be licking your fingers. But I really want to take a spoon and dunk a spoon into the gooey over there. So all we're doing, this just powdered sugar. Birdie is going to help. Doing a nice coating here. Coating on the counter. I'm going to take a butter knife and I'm actually just going to spray it with regular vegetable spray just so the marshmallows don't stick. Well, 
as bad. Good job. So they don't stick as bad. <laughs> and then we are going to go around the edge and get it all nice and loosened. Daddy, gonna go and you alive? I go to the door. Do 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 do. I go. Where do you want to go? You want to pass me? I want the No, his head is. There's something wrong with his head. Yeah, with the wobble. Yes, baby. You want the wobble. Oh, okay. And you just work it out of the pan. Get something else. Mm -hmm. A big old sheet of marshmallow. I'm going to flip it over. Make sure the sides are coated in powdered sugar. And when it doesn't stick to itself, you know you're pretty good there. I want some, Jessica. <laughs> Look at that. It's going to be just a little bit more. And then you just take a sharp knife and sticky hands. Put it in your nice clean dishwasher. dishwasher. Yes, I'm Katie. Gonna... Don't, let me... Don't break him. <clears throat> Uh, I eat. Yeah, I eat. And then you just cut to size, whatever size you want your marshmallows to be. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my and if your yes. knife starts getting too sticky, you'll want to rinse it off. Usually you can get through the whole stage without having to rinse it. So the cut my cut edge, I went ahead and tapped that into powdered sugar. And we just continue. And I guess at this point, if you wanted to, um, if you had like metal cookie cutters, you could also cut it into yeah. shapes that way. Maybe even the plastic ones, as long as they were oiled before you did this. Go ahead and dust it off a little bit. Sorry guys, not can't see the chat. Who wants marshmallows? Everybody wants marshmallows. <laughs> Thanks that she's going into a diabetic coma looking at it. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's so much sugar. It is so much sugar. But really, oh, no. the powdered sugar is just to keep them from sticking to each other. Um, I do said, like... Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> What's Bonnie saying? She said, oh, <laughs> you, are, you already got me in the car. You got me about to, ready to take that three-hour drive. Come on. I <laughs> Door is always open. You're ever in the area. Stop on by. We'll make a pie. And we'll sit and crochet and chit chat. 
dog. So I do like, yeah. I do um, some of the bigger sized marshmallows because they actually fit better on the graham cracker. I like my full graham cracker to be coated in mar like I want marshmallow. I don't want, mm -mm, I don't want to be gypped in the marshmallowness, <laughs> especially homemade marshmallows. So these next ones I am, I'm going to leave nice and big. And then we're actually going to go ahead and we'll toast one of them. So you guys can see what they look like toasted up. And usually before I toast them, I will um, try to get some, get most of the powdered sugar off. So I will take a damp paper towel and wipe off the powdered sugar because the powdered sugar just kind of burns on the marshmallow versus toasting it. We'll clean up the mess here in a minute. So, and then I'm going to cut into threes. My kid will love that. Ugh. You want to make marshmallows? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it, it sounds like when you say, you want to make marshmallows, people are like, what? You, that just sounds like a lot of work. It's not terrible. I mean, it works up pretty quick besides the setting. And for a, a quick treat, I mean, in less than two hours, you know, technically from start to finish, you could have homemade marshmallows. So I'll cut these other ones up here in a little bit. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Where are you going? So at this point, once they are all covered in powdered sugar, toss them into a sealed container, a Ziploc bag, whatever you're choosing. Just make sure it's sealable um, and leave them on the counter about a week, week and a half. They'll hold up pretty good. Uh, just trying to get as much of the dust off as I can. You better stop. Let me get my hands rinsed. I'm going to scrape up the counter a little bit. And uh, we'll toast up one of the marshmallows. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. China, thank you so much for being here. Guys in the chat. Welcome. Stop. I appreciate you all for choosing to spend your time here yeah. with China and I. <laughs> Can't forget about Joey. All right, we're going to do a. Yes, Tampa 14. Tina, yes. I will be gone within two hours after it's made in my house. My boys are candy eaters. Oh my God. Where's it going? All right. And since I have another batch of marshmallows. I'm just going to scrape that off into my sifter. Come here. Be able to reuse them. Oh, One marshmallow? Yeah. That's the way I make them. Alright. Say excuse me. Mm -hmm. You don't want that, Bonnie. Mm -mm. All right. I just have a damp paper towel because, like I said, the, the powdered sugar really won't melt. It just kind of burns on the marshmallow. So before I toast it, I will wipe off the, 
the powdered sugar. So here it is after they are cut. Like, mm, so yum. All right, so toasting time. Grab handy dandy fire, especially if you're you're not outside or in the woods or camping. You grab your kitchen torch. It's the best thing that I have. I use it all the time. And we are roasting. And there you have your homemade toasted marshmallows. Yes. Oh my God, it looks so good. Mm. Nice and you can see it, it acts, it, it's a regular marshmallow. It, it acts just like a marshmallow. You make marshmallows. Can, I mean, can you guys believe like, in an hour minus the sitting time you can have your own and it's so fun to do with kids because i mean what kid doesn't like getting sticky and having fun playing in the kitchen <laughs> homemade marshmallows. and yeah. then when you put them in your mouth they're sticky and gooey and then you can't talk and you yeah, don't think about a lot, that jessica <laughs> 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 yes. Grand crackers and chocolate now. So yum. And now I can't. Okay. So, I did want to try to keep it to an hour for you guys today because I don't want to take up anyone else's time in the YouTube street. So, I'm gonna. <laughs> yes, Tina. Like that's I. I so miss having a gas-fired stove. Mm. For a lot of things, like I used to toast my tortillas on an open flame, mm. or even like if you want to um, char yes. peppers. Or corn, like, oh, I just miss a gas stove. Okay. But so my next best thing is to bring fire with me in, in the little mini torch. But thank you all for coming to hang out. Thank you for making. Oh, VJ, I'm coming over, honey. <laughs> we'll toast marshmallow, homemade marshmallows on your stove. <laughs> So, back, I, I know I keep on saying I'm leaving and I keep reading chat. Uh, thank you for sharing, Jessica. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, any of the replay watchers, thank you for coming to hang out, making marshmallows. Try some your own. Um, here in the future, whenever I do chocolate covered strawberries, we'll also. Uh, cover marshmallows and chocolate when when we do that so 
Cool. All right, you guys go play in the YouTube streets. <laughs> Have fun. I'll see you guys all around. Um, yes. I'm sure I'll be popping into somebody's live. Well, let's see. Do, do, do. Trying to see if, oh, Granny D's on. So let's uh, go raid the squirrel, the squirrel's nest. Go hang out with some Granny D. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.